Singapore is in a new phase with a more mature economy and a better educated population. But we must not abandon the values which got us here. That was the message Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long had at the People's Action Party conference on Sunday. If you ask me to put it in my own words, what do we want? I would say a vibrant economy creating good jobs for everyone, as well as a harmonious society where we can enjoy a balanced and fulfilling life. We want a meritocratic system where people succeed based on their efforts and their contributions and where we make a special effort to help those who start off with less, to help them do well in school and to help them upgrade in work. We want a Singapore where citizens belong and where we feel as one. At the same time, an open and a cosmopolitan society that welcomes foreigners who have skills and talents which will help us to succeed. PM Lee also highlighted that to achieve these goals, a balance must be struck and Singaporeans have to be careful not to go overboard and abandon our values. So each of these goals, as Indrani said, is a yin and a yang, two elements complementing each other. And we have to seek the right balance between them in order to find the right path for Singapore. The balance will change over time, and in the process, we are in the process of adjusting it now. That's really what the national conversation is about. And I think it's good for us to re-examine this balance regularly and recalibrate as we advance as a nation. But we have to be very careful not to go overboard as you recalibrate left a bit, right a bit, don't flip-flop, flip-flop, and turn upside down. As Indrani says, don't abandon values and principles which, have, which are important, which have gotten us thus far, and which remain important for us for a long time into the future. At the 32nd PAP conference, a new Central Executive Committee was elected, which included some newer faces like Education Minister Heng Sui Kiet, Acting Minister for Social and Family Development Chan Chun Singh, and Minister in the Prime Minister's Office Grace Fu.